Yes people and welcome back to AJ Cars and welcome back to another video. Now, if you've seen my last video on the Mark IV GTI, we did paint it Nardo Grey. Now, in that video I did say we wasn't finished on the car and it's been about a week and I've bought a K-Brace. So we're going to install it. Let's get straight into it. So first things first, we've got to get the back seats out. Now the back seats are in two sections, the back and the bottom. So you've got to get the bottom off first. All you got to do is give it a bit of a pull and then a slide to the side and it should just come straight out. So moving on to the rear of the seats, they are very simple to get out. All it is is one single bolt on the back of the right hand side seat, single seat. I could not figure out how to get these out. We did get them out eventually, but I just my brain was fried. I could not figure out how to get them out. But obviously, it is very simple. It is literally just one bolt, and they slide out together. I couldn't do it, so we had to get Reese in to sort it out for me because I was close to losing my temper. But we did get them out. But unfortunately, the camera fell. But we got them out. Do a quick trial fit. This ain't a fucking in an accident. <laughs> Now we're going to mark up the holes that we need to drill for the rivnuts. nuts. Now I would always recommend doing this. They need to be absolutely millimetre perfect to the holes on the K brace or the bolt won't go in and you won't be able to put your K brace on securely. So make sure you take your time and get them absolutely perfect. So you've marked up all your holes, it is now time to start drilling. Now don't stress about this, just take your time with this guys, honestly take your time with it because as soon as you get one wrong, you get the rest of them wrong. So what I would recommend is once you've drilled a hole, test the K-brace on the car, make sure that hole lines up perfectly and if it does, maybe drill through the K-brace on the second bolt to make sure that one perfectly lines up as well. That's just the tip I used and it seemed to work for me so I will say it to you drill a hole, test the K-brace and then drill through the K-brace onto the other hole and keep on doing that the whole way around to make sure all the holes line up because if one doesn't, the rest of them won't. So try all fit it, make sure you use the rivnut and the bolt that they provide as well because you have to use these otherwise it will not be secure. So yeah, there is a video online, I will put that in the description on how to use these rivnuts because they can get quite confusing. But yeah guys, just focus on what you're doing, don't let anything else around you distract you Make sure you put the holes in the right place, try or fit it, and you should be good to go. Moving on to the side, same principle as before, once you've drilled a hole, test the K-brace and then so on and so forth, just to double check that everything lines up perfectly. Just like that, the K-brace is on.
people there you have it the cave race is installed and it looks insane but like i said we're not done with this car so we've got loads more to do in this car so stay tuned for that but i hope you guys did enjoy and we'll see you guys in the next one